Hello, beautiful friends. It's your girl, Booby. It's Poopy from Poop and Booby Life. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Boobies and I are not together due to COVID. Where's Boop? We're going to be recreating two different desserts. The best, the best dessert that we found called Shrames Sweets and that's located at 233 Horton Street East in London, Ontario, Canada, which is where we are from. And honestly, this place looked awesome, but the food was so good, guys. We highly recommend it. So as you guys will see, we went to the place that we found. Everything was so magical and chocolate melting and like a waterfall, but with chocolate. And me and Booby, we bought, of course, different desserts. She had sushi crepes and I ordered a waffle sundae. Oh my gosh, so good. I'm just gonna warn you now, I know mine did not turn out exactly like the original dessert I got from the store, but Poopies, it is such a mess. Like you wouldn't even be able to tell it was a dessert. You would maybe think that it had fallen on the floor and then someone scraped it up and put it back oh. on the plate. No, I'm just joking, but it, guys, <laughs> I mean, it, I'm sure it still tasted good, but <laughs> it looks so awful. Just don't expect anything great, okay? Can't wait to open them up and take some pictures for you. So let's go, let's go. get it open in the car, guys. Woo! So sushi, roll, chocolate, fruit, uh, sushi. Yeah! Hi friends. So let's start. You're just gonna need... Any fruit you have at home. Babe, those strawberries are not ripe yet. <laughs> the original recipe actually comes with brownies, bananas, and strawberries. If you have brownies at home, add to your delicious chocolate sushi roll. Two tablespoon of flour, one egg, a quarter cup milk with one tablespoon of canola oil, and finally but not the least, chocolate. I have dark chocolate and milk chocolate. We are going to melt this to pour on top of our sushi. I am going to blend everything. That's the consistency of the dough. I already cut up my fruit. My pan is dirty because that's literally my fifth attempt. None of them work. So we will try again. It has to be the perfect amount in the pan. Otherwise it's too thick and then you cannot roll it and sometimes it's too thin and then it breaks apart. So let me try to do this. I'm really hopeful that this time we will get this right. Ooh, okay, okay. Oh yes, yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> It worked! I am so happy. So finally, here is our doll. You guys can see. Look how gorgeous, how beautiful. And now, the fruit, just throw here. Oh my goodness, that's way too much fruit for one crepe. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to be. I do. Um, <laughs> well, probably the same as when I do sushi, right? No, yeah. Poopies! <laughs> okay, we can do it. Yes, yes. Ooh! It's a huge crepe with fruit inside. Maybe too much. Maybe I put a, too much fruit. We have to cut <laughs> now. Ooh! Okay, it definitely. It's not perfect, but um, this one looks pretty good. Um. <laughs> well, it doesn't look that bad. <laughs> Aww, it's not bad, guys. 
probably that doesn't look that good, but I'm sure it is. And chocolate. It's ugly but delicious, man. Ugly delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I love you poopies. All right, guys, so let me remind you, this is what the dessert should look like, and this is what poopies made. Just beautiful. If you guys do not have a waffle maker like me, you can use a sandwich maker or something similar like that. You're gonna need two cups of flour, two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, one and two third cups of milk, one third cup of melted butter, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, two eggs divided, and whatever toppings you choose to add to your waffles. So we're going to begin by mixing your flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt all together and then just setting it aside. Next, you're gonna separate your egg whites from the yolk and then you're going to beat the egg whites with a mixer on high speed until stiff peaks form. Then in another bowl, you're going to mix your egg yolks, milk, the melted butter, and your vanilla extract and set that aside. And you definitely don't need a mixer for this part. Finally, you're going to add your egg yolk mixture to the flour mixture and stir it to combine it all. Then fold in the egg whites. Now you're just going to want to spray your waffle maker or sandwich maker with a cooking spray. Finally, just drop large spoonfuls of your waffle mixture onto your greased waffle iron or sandwich maker in my case. Close the lid and cook for three to five minutes and you will have your beautiful, amazing waffles. Guys, these are the best, fluffiest, most delicious waffles I've ever tasted in my life. So I would highly recommend trying this recipe. And the last step is basically take your melted chocolate. I have white macadamia nut and milk chocolate. Melt it, decorate your entire waffle, as much chocolate as you want. I added strawberries, cause that was what my recipe included as well. Plus I love strawberries. And then I also put some shaved chocolate. This is blonde chocolate, it's amazing. Um, shaved it on top of the waffle. It is so delicious, guys. All right, moment of truth. This was my original waffle that I got at the store. And mine turned out like this. so much for watching i hope you enjoyed that video we are so grateful to each and every one of you if you haven't subscribed please do so we love you so much please hit that notification bell hopefully we will be able to film together soon because we do enjoy that way more and i think you guys do too so anyways thanks for watching we love you so much and we will see you next week for another new video bye guys we love you bye the oops <laughs>